Hi, I'm Dennis Mack from Haynes Hunter. We're here today to look at the SP725 Haynes Hunter. The SP725 is the flagship of our boats. It's a good weekender, good overnighter, and an all-round sport pursuit boat. You can fish out of it, you can dive out of it, you can even tow a wakeboarder if you want to. So the 725 Haynes Hunter has an overall length of 7.5. So we're achieving a long waterline for the boat, which gives us the ability to balance the boat better and in turn gives us a better fuel economy. Haynes Hunters are remarkable in the rough and that's because we run our lifting strakes right through the front of the boat here and a big flare on our bow which keeps the boat nice and high, nice and dry, keeps all the water off the windscreen. We also run this brass keel strip and this just gives us a bit more security when we're touching trailers or coming into hard ramps where you might get a bump. A lot of effort goes into the construction and design of our hulls. So what we do there is have multi-layers of woven rovings and fiberglass that we put the resin in and hand squeegee it out. This allows us to get a good resin to fiberglass ratio which makes our boats very strong and evenly distributed weight. The composite floors that we manufacture for the boats are directly bonded to the hull and the stringer system which forms an internal manufactured part of the boat. This gives us a lighter, stronger boat makes them easier to clean, makes it quieter and a better riding boat on the water. On the SP725 we've got lots of features, not just for day boating but for weekending as well. Leading forward into the big roomy V-berth where we can add an infill swab to make it into a nice bed. We also have an enclosed head here so give you a bit of privacy for the toilet. On this side we run a two burner cooker stove so you can heat the kettle up and have a cup of tea. Coming back we also run a freezer unit under the seat to keep things nice and cold for the weekend. So ergonomics are important to us at Haynes Hunter and here we have a typical layout of our dash which gives us a good helm position, good electronics and easy reach, good switching on the side so we can easily reach those as well. On this boat we've got the Simrad gear and you can see here that we're also running a remote control on the hand rest here. We're also running zip weight trim tabs, we're running a radar on the hard top as well so you can see what's going on at night. Another important feature to us is the visibility. We're at rest we have good visibility and when we're standing not only do we have good visibility but we have a good head height on our hard top as well. So here we have our king queen seat in the 725 and we've put a lot of effort into designing these seats over time and we've got foam here that wraps around your body. You really have to get on the water to try these seats and see how comfortable they are. So another great feature of all Haynes Hunters is storage. So not only do we have good storage in the side pockets, but we have full storage under our seats. 725 seats we put a gas stay on to assist with the lifting and you've got full storage underneath. Leading to our back seats, which are bin seats so you can easily pull them out, you've got full storage under those as well. They push away and this also allows us to put our batteries up under a locker. Nice, safe environment for your batteries to work in. We run several different flooring options in the 725 Haynes, but the one that's becoming more and more popular is the ultra long flooring. So this is really soft underfoot, really durable and easy to clean. So as part of the practical design features of a Haynes Hunter, on the 725 we've got a walkthrough transom. The walkthrough transom also allows us to put the Ultralon here for a non-skid surface. And on the starboard side we're running a nice little hand basin with the optional freshwater tank and shower here. Going across this side we've got our removable bait board leading down to our live bait tank and our boarding ladder. And as you can see with our boarding ladders, we have nice high handles so that when you're in the water, it gives you good leverage to get up into the boat. So our bait board for the Haynes Hunters are designed in such a way that we can run it in three position on the 725. We can have it on our port side, our centre or our starboard side. So depending on which way you're fishing and what type of fishing you're doing, you can have it to suit your location. We've been in business for over 70 years at Haynes and that's a lot of customer feedback and experience that we put into the design of the boats. And it's one of the reasons why with the Haynes, the ride just gets better.